Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, man. Just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Hey, look, you know, it was Wednesday, so we're going to do that Ravens injury report. Ravens got some big, big news today. Got some key players back. But let's start off with uh, who did not practice today, okay? So it's still Rashad Bateman with a foot injury. Justice Hill, hamstring. Justin Houston still out with the groin injury. Hopefully, we'll get him back soon. Ben Cleveland with his foot injury. Ronnie Stanley was out today for practice. It could just be precautionary. The Ravens have been giving certain guys off on Wednesdays. They did it with Dobbins before, even though Dobbins practiced today. And guys that they did give off was uh, Calais Campbell, Marcus Peters, okay? So those two guys got uh, rest days, veteran days, however you want to call it. So Ronnie Stanley could just be in the same mix of this is his new program now that he's back playing. Now that he's back playing, we get him off Wednesdays, and then he'll practice the rest of the week. Obviously, we'll know more on Thursday when that time comes, okay? Now, the big news is, who is practicing today, okay? David Ojabo, Tyus Bowser, two guys that have come back, two outside linebackers, two guys that Ravens fans and the Ravens staff themselves have been waiting on to see. Now, this has activated their 21-day window. So these guys, in some capacity, will be on the roster within the next three weeks, so they have to be shut down for the season. So obviously, if the Ravens did this, they would have shut them down a long time ago. Um, so I'm expecting to see these guys back in the next couple of weeks. Now, Harbaugh said he's not ruling out Ty's Bowser for this week. Ojabo was definitely not playing this week. So we'll see where it goes from there. Um, Gus Edwards is still practicing. Uh, J.K. Dobbins and the new signer, Andy Isabella, also practicing. So we could see Andy Isabella make his debut versus the Giants. We'll see. As far as Gus Edwards, now the Ravens now have 14 days left to activate him because obviously they activated him last Wednesday. So now we're in that two-week window for, for uh, Gus Edwards, and hopefully he gets activated pretty soon as well. Um, maybe not this game, but the following game, okay? Uh, J.K. Dobbins is good. He's, he's continuing to ramp up, doing this thing. So the Ravens are bringing him along slowly. He doesn't like it. You know, obviously there were some things where he was liking on Twitter about, you know, he needs to play more and things like that. And I understand the frustration because he's trying to get his rhythm. He's trying to get back cooking. And he has to feel like this splitting of the carries is uh, slowing him down a little bit. But the Ravens are trying to do what's best for him. Same way they did for Ronnie Stanley. I think, they, I think the official snap count on Ronnie Stanley was 22 snaps. So obviously the Ravens are bringing him along slowly. I would expect to see him even more rotation uh, this Sunday versus the Giants as well. All right. Just a couple more thoughts about this, okay? For me personally, I would rule out Bowser, uh, Edwards, and Ojabo this week. Mainly because we're playing once again on that MetLife field, MetLife Stadium field, okay? Um, week one, we saw Kyle Fuller tear his ACL on that field. I believe Stephen Means got hurt on that field. Um, I was watching Monday Night Football. It was it was Giants Cowboys. Sterling Shepard tears his ACL walking. Like I've never seen somebody just casually walking and tear their ACL. All right. So obviously when you play football, there are chances to get injured anytime time you step on the field. So obviously you can't put players in a bubble and expect no injuries. That's not realistic. But if you could do something where you can protect players from themselves, protect players and get them out of harm's way, you have to do it. And that's been the Ravens pretty much model with these guys as far as injury. We're taking you out of harm's way. So in my opinion, taking these guys out of harm's way, we're not letting them play in this week six game at MetLife Stadium, okay? If it was here at the bank, I would love to see Bowser. I would love to see uh, Gus Edwards, but it's not. All right, so you got to you gotta protect God from themselves, okay? Now, also, I want to say, like, this Ravens pass rush is going to get some serious help. It should be, be able to start shaping up. Now, obviously, Ojabo is a rookie. I'm not expecting too much from him. I do think he'll, he'll get a couple sacks this year. I'm thinking somewhere around maybe um, two to four. Two to three sacks this year, I think it's possible for David Ojabo. But Tyus Bowser is going to help in in really all areas. That's the guy who I'm mainly excited about, okay? He he can rush the passer. We know that. He improved tremendously last year. He was the Ravens' overall best defender, if you ask me. We know what he can do in pass coverage. He's actually one of the Ravens' best droppers in coverage. Um, there's even some talk about, I mean, from Ravens fans, like maybe we should put Tyus Bowser sometimes as an inside linebacker and just let him drop. Um, and obviously stopping a run as well. So he's an all-around great outside linebacker who's going to help this team out tremendously. So that's the guy I'm really waiting on. Um, like Har Harbaugh said, he like I said before, he's not ruling him out this week. But 
give him a give him the two weeks to practice. Let him come back week seven, and then obviously he'll probably still be on the pitch count even then. Okay, but there's no reason to rush him back this week. Um, the Ravens are still going to have Jason Pierre-Paul. They're still going to have uh, Adafi Owe. Hopefully, we get Justin Houston back. We'll see what the info is out on him. Um, he did not practice today, as I mentioned before. Uh, but the Ravens are shaping up to have a better, more capable, more sustainable pass rush, especially from the guys on the outside. We don't want the inside. Matt Abike is doing this thing. Roger Washington is playing well. Calais Campbell is playing well. Brent Urban is getting in the mix a little bit. So this Ravens defensive line is starting to shape up and be the unit they have potential to be the unit we thought it could be when we started the season, uh, which is a very dominant pass rushing unit. What we saw in that game versus the Bengals is what I'm kind of expecting to see from the Ravens um, here on out, especially with JPP just kind of gaining the strength, all right? And Adafi is going to join them pretty soon as far as that goes. Um, so there's nobody that was ruled out today that was any type of surprise or anything that Ravens fans should be worried about. Everybody was expected. The main guy we're looking out for is, okay, Rashad Bateman did not practice today. But can he come back sometime during this week, or is he out again for another week? And um, I don't want him to rush back. I really don't. Uh, this offense does need Rashad Bateman. You know, we saw Devin Duvernay could do. Devin Duvernay, excuse me. We saw what he could do. But they still need Rashad Bateman. They still need as many weapons on the field as possible. And Rashad Bateman is a weapon for this team. You know, no matter how we feel about the drops and things like that, um, he'll get that cleaned up. I, I firmly believe that because he has good hands. It's all about concentration for him. So, uh, with Devin DuVernay playing well, let Rashad Bateman take another week if he needs it and come back next week. Um, but the Ravens team is starting to get healthy. All right. Now, they obviously, lost some guys to IR. We know Marcus Williams just went on IR, but it's not season ending. He should come back in a couple months. We'll see what happens with that. But, you know, that's good news that it's not at least season ending. But, you know, we'll see Kyle Hamilton a little bit more. So, this is pretty much the Ravens injury report for uh, this Wednesday. Some key important guys are round up shipping in the form. Uh, Ty's Bowser or Job will have three weeks to be activated. Gus Edwards has two weeks to be activated. Uh, Andy Isabella is officially practicing with the team. So it's a chance that we'll see him um, maybe even this Sunday because the Ravens have a couple of uh, empty spots on the roster that they can elevate Andy Isabella and maybe we'll see him play. You know what I mean? Um, that's, that, that, those, that's the main thing from the injury report. All right. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos, man. Uh, more content coming. It's your boy Gabriel. There's another fan TV. I'm out.